this is why we request they turn off the lights in here. Freak sakes. It's like Tuesday morning, bright and early in the morning. The clip you just saw was the doors I walk out of to come out to my car. And they're covered in shad flies. Sons of bitches are definitely back. And welcome to my vlog. Go for a leisurely cruise home. Yeah, it's pissing rain out. Just giving her. And yeah, that is lightning. Because we are having a freaking thunderstorm right now. Don't you love that kind? I don't. It's not my favorite, that's for sure. Because thunderstorms usually lead to power failures, which usually lead to broken equipment. And broken equipment leads to busier days and pissed off customers. Because even though things break, you can't accept that. So, what the frig are you supposed to do, right? Oh well, guess we'll go cruise in the storm here, head her home. To me, it just seems like heat lightning, but I could be wrong. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, shad flies are out with a vengeance, boys. Shad flies are out with a vengeance. I sent Billy a video when I was on my last break of the shad flies around the lights and even he couldn't believe his eyes he's like well what do they do like what's the point of them i'm like there is no point to them they're larvae they feed the fish and then they grow wings and come to land and seagulls eat them they can't eat they can't reproduce well they probably reproduce but like they don't eat that's all they just sprout wings and fly around and die when they starve completely useless freaking bugs and the sons of bitches are everywhere Usually when you get past, this is third, yeah, usually when you get past here you don't really see them too much because they don't have enough horsepower to make it here on one tank of fuel, you know. Unless they're hitchhiking, they, they never make it to my neck of the woods. So I don't really get them up in my area. The ones I see are stragglers who jumped on somebody else's car, came up to uh, my neck of the woods. Oh, freaking bright lights, bright lights, bright lights. But yeah, usually the ones that, uh, the stragglers that come to my neck of the woods there, they're usually just hitchhikers. And they end up finding somewhere to perch and then they just sit there until they deplete themselves and die. Probably the world's most useless friggin' bug, you know. If God wanted to punish every pedophile and murderer out there, he'd have them reincarnate as a, as a friggin' shad fly. It'd give them a useless life. You're born, you swim around in a lake, you sprout wings, you fly, you die. Game over. And if you're lucky, a fish eats you before you get to grow wings and you die earlier. Rather than dying to painful starvation and then drying out and becoming a, a similarity to bird shit on somebody's hood. So I'd like to say, oh freaking, that was a good one, that uh, all of this rain is cooling the area down, but it's super not, super not cooling shit down. If anything, making it muggier but uh, frigate just frigate yep. oh that was a good one <laughs> good old heat lightning eh frig sakes and other things I hate it when it rains because this type of road is like, you guys see it too. It looks like a mirror, right? And my eyes are, they don't see right. So I have a hell of a time seeing the lines on the road due to all the different colors hitting it. So I usually drive by uh, by memory. Like I know this town by the back of my hand, so. But anywho, well, I'm almost home. So I'll key back up when I get there. So I'll talk to you guys later. What in the... Oh, looks like the girlfriend was busy tonight. Holy shit. She moved everything around. Huh. Well. That's interesting. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet.
Alrighty guys, well I just decided to come out to the garage, have a smoke, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. Having a hell of a time falling asleep, but frigate, you know, I came home from work there and saw that the girlfriend did all that work. And I was like, you know what, I haven't done an update since, so maybe I'll come out to the garage and do one. Trying out the Sony Bloggy, you know, it's been a while since I've used this camera, so frigate, give her a go. I need to do some camera battles with this guy here and put it up against some things. Speaking of camera battles, um, I finally managed to get uh, my Northern Tech Channel partnered with TGN the network so now I don't feel so bad because TGN was like the gaming network and they do a lot of technology and stuff and that was the first vlogger they brought on board but now that we have the northern tech on there now I feel like more one of one of the family you know what I'm saying so I heard chippy a little bastard better not be dicking with my shit freaking murder him so now we got the northern tech on there and vlogging life so that's pretty sweet it's pretty sweet indeed so oh i gotta get more more videos up on the northern tech i want to do some more video editing such as uh, how to synchronize audio and video when you're using multiple sources um i got a couple others that i want to do too so but as for me i should really get the bed and because uh, tomorrow if it's nice out and it's supposed to be according to the weather network uh we're gonna jump on the mower crank her over and go and pound the crap out of the grass frig yeah because we got the uh, gopro helmet mod and uh figure that's the safest way i can wear that thing without running it over with the mower so what the frig let's do her so i'm gonna head her inside and crash out i'll talk to you guys in the a.m probably the p.m most likely the p.m Alrighty, well it's like Tuesday afternoon, 1.30 in the afternoon. I've been up for a little bit. Rex wants me to go over to help him try and take those tires off the uh, the axle. You know, the ones that I'm going to be using. He's having a hell of a time doing it. <coughs> he wants the axle for one thing, I want the tires for another. So we're going to head over there and see if we can give him a hand. And then uh, come back here and we'll head her off to work. So let's uh, hammer down. Alrighty, well we made it to Rex 4x4's house. He's in there somewhere, there he is. I'm going to try and get those... Tires off the axle, crank and stuff. Yeah, no dogs? No dogs, okay, good. Ha. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we decided, frigate, we're gonna go do coffee because we're not gonna be able to get those sons of bitches off. It's ridiculous. So, uh, I'm gonna talk to my dad and see if he can get a guy at work to press them out and we'll go from there. So, frigate, are you taking your own vehicle? You wanna come back all the way back here to drop me off? Ah, uh, good point. Yeah, <laughs> take your own vehicle. All right, are we gonna go to Trout Lake? Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna go for coffee. And uh, freaking go from there. So let's hammer down. There goes Rex. There goes Rex. Just did coffee. We're gonna head her home now. Pre-edit and head off to work. So let's hammer down. That's what Chad flies did to the hood of my car. Freaking carcasses everywhere. Oh well, I'll uh, drive it tonight if it's really bad. Then the old G6 is coming out because uh, I don't want to put up with that shit. All right, let's go pre-edit. Get ready for work. Alrighty guys, well I'm just sitting here at home. I figured I would shoot this part of the uh, vlog with my uh, webcam because I never really use it very often. Sorry for the background noise. I do have a fan going. It's freaking hot in here. Just wanted to say that BitBoy did receive his shirt. It takes about six days to ship from North Bay to California. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good I think. So right on. Uh, I figured I'd use the webcam for this update because uh, I want to see how well it works and other things. So I just got to edit and upload or sorry, edit and render and then I'm off to work so we'll see you guys in the car talk to you later i don't care who you are that cannot be comfortable hmm <laughs> silly kitten well, i gotta make a lunch and get ready for work i also gotta let the dog out so uh let's do all that right now big yeah all righty let's get our asses into work got my lunch oh man we're gonna get pissed on tonight let me tell you that one storm after another boys oh my god is it ever hot out this is ridiculous. Well, that's cool that BitBoy got the shirt. At least now I got an idea as to how long it takes to ship. So, that's right on. Oh, looks like they're paving that road. Yeah, they're paving the road over by Rex's house. Um, 
this one road when you leave his place if you take it it's like you're on water because it's like up and down up and down it's ridiculous so good thing they're paving the shit out of that that's right on it's like they're doing work here oh that's an ambulance no that's a garbage truck that was close not really well i guess today i find out if uh buddy van dudo's taking nights or days here's freaking hoping he takes days and not nights but if he takes nights then uh We'll find a way to make that work out for me. You know, I'm pretty sure if I go on days, it's gonna take a bit, but I can get my schedule in order and it won't be that big of a deal. It just means I'll be in bed every night by around 11 instead of going to bed at like four in the morning. And it just also means that I will be able to go to work at eight, get off at four and have four to 11 to vlog and do things, which will give me more time to put more effort into the videos and it might work out better for the for, for the, in the long run. Who knows? So maybe day shifts won't be so bad. I'm just not a morning person, but it's different this time around because I'll be working days every week instead of working days and the nights and then days and the nights. You know that shift work I was on for like the longest time. Because let me tell you, that was hard and rather unpleasant, and I did not enjoy it. I hated it. I, I love the fact that now it's like I know I'm coming in. And I'm working the same thing every week. But if I have to go to days, I have to go to days. I'll figure it out. We'll get through this. You know, it's not a big deal. It's going to be a bitch, but um, yeah, I'll adapt. You know, because a lot of the, like, the girlfriend wants me to go to uh, a golf tournament. Which, no guys, I do not golf. I super do not golf. I don't know how to golf. Uh, I can go to the driving range, sometimes I can hit the ball, sometimes it goes farther than three feet. I suck at golf, like hardcore. But um, after the uh, golf tournament, there's a steak dinner and a party and a dance and all that fun stuff. So she wants me to go to that, and if I'm working nights, I can't. But if I'm on days, well, now I can. So that's kind of cool. So that's why I'm thinking that uh, maybe if Buddy decides, well, I want to work nights, then give her. But the one thing I didn't like what he said was his whole reasoning for wanting to work nights is because summer's coming up and the kids are going to be out of school. So he wants to work nights because his wife works days so that he'll be home with the kids during the day and his wife will be home with the kids at night. But then comes uh, September when school starts back up, he thinks he can just, you know, bump me out and take days again. You know, if I'm, if I'm actually enjoying days and I got a schedule going and you know, I get back into kickboxing and start having fun. You know, um, I'm pretty sure uh, Chris Marceau, the the guy who uh, who teaches the uh, kickboxing class, I'm pretty sure he'll let me set up a camera in there on a tripod and videotape it. He would love the free advertising. So, you know, you guys can watch me in there, like, you know, punching the shit out of stuff. And laugh at my technique and all that and laugh at me being a sweaty bitch. You know, I don't mind putting myself on the spot for the uh, sake of entertainment. I do it every freaking day. It's, it's what I do. So, uh, and I know for a fact that he'd be like, YouTube coverage? Really? I I'm, I'm down with that. Let's go, you know? So, and if I get into it and everything, and then come September, Buddy Van Dudo's like, Yeah, yeah, I want my day shifts back because the kids are back at school, so I'm just going to bump you. Well, newsflash, you can't. Now, when uh, Chicky at work comes back from her baby leave or uh, parental leave or whatever the hell they call it these days, then there will probably be another schedule thingamajig happening, and then he can take days again, which is complete bullshit. But, yeah, he could do it. He could, eas he could easily do it. So, kind of sucks, but it's the way she goes. You know, I like night shifts because they're easy going, they're not too busy. You know, you can get a lot of other things done besides, you know, working. <laughs> but, um, day shifts wouldn't be too bad because I'd have a lot of me time after hours. So, I guess we'll have to wait and see what the cock happens and just roll with the punches, you know? Frig it, hammer down and uh, take one to the jaw, whatever. Because it would be friggin' amazing to get back with that kickboxing, guys. I, I've been to the gym. I've worked out at the gym. You know, that's one thing. But kickboxing is where, like, I did it for two weeks straight, and I lost, like, 10 pounds in two weeks. 
after a one hour class, your body stays hot for a good four hours. Like you're just, just you can't cool down. You're just melting off the fat because it's like a high intensity interval training. If you ever heard of that term, H-I-I-T or, or some people call it the HIT training. Because the way it works is you go, you go, you go, you go, you stop, get your heart rate back down. And you go, you go, you go, you go, you stop, you go, you go, you go, you stop. You know, and he teaches you how to throw proper punches and kicks and all that stuff. And there's a little bit of sparring and that's always fun. My problem is, is like when I did it last time and we did sparring, um, I had I had a karate background, so I kept dropping my karate stances, and he would get mad because I didn't have both fists up, and he always wanted to protect your jaw, but the stance I was in, I could easily come up and cover, but it, it's like Bruce Lee always said, you know, and he, when he trained somebody who was like heavy into like kung fu or whatever style of martial arts, he'd be like, okay, I want you to empty the glass, and then I'll train you, and that's what I needed to do. Or get a bigger glass, you know? So, all in all, I had a great time doing it. It was like one of the best workouts in the world. The only game I don't like that they play during warm-up is you run around in the circle, and there's a guy in the middle, and dude in the middle throws a ball, and you gotta catch it. And me being, oh Jesus. Almost got, almost ate Toyota there, boys. Almost wrecked the Trans Am. But um, yeah, I can't see the ball that they throw. So it's like the moment it leaves the person's hand, I gotta run a calculation in my head of where it's gonna be and get my hands there and hope the Christ as soon as I feel the ball to plant. Because I can't see the ball once it's launched. So pain in the ass. Alright. Uh frick, there's a light over here too. People can't park in this fucking parking lot. Great. Well I'll park it here for now. I'm gonna move it tonight. Frigate. You know, like, is it really hard to park a freaking car? Sons of bitches. All right, well, I'm at work. I'm going to head her inside, and I'll talk to you guys on my break. Peace the frig out. Well, it's break time, and at least the wind calmed down, because holy shit, when I got to work today, it was windier than frig, but uh, it's calmed down a lot, so that's all right. So, came into work to find that uh, Buddy Van Dudo there chose uh, days. So it looks like I'm staying on nights, boys. Right on. In a way, I'm kind of upset. I was kind of looking forward to, uh, you know, being on days and doing day stuff. But you know what? It's going to save me money in the end and make me more money because I'll keep my night premium, which is not much, but it ends up being an extra 40 bucks per paycheck. So I kind of like that. You know, you get a, just for working nights, you get a 25 cent premium uh, raise on your, on your thingamajig, on your paycheck. So you do the math, 25 times 40. Oh, yeah, 40 hours, 25 cents an hour, so for every four hours is a buck. So, I don't know why, but it ends up coming up to being 40 bucks on your paycheck. Ah, oh, whatever. Something like that. Just go with it. No, it's 50 cents, sorry. 50 cents an hour for premium. And then if you work uh, the weekend evenings, you get a dollar premium. That's what it is. Okay, I frigged up. So, and once they instigate the bilingual premium, because they want to put in a bilingual premium because right now on the help desk you don't have to be bilingual to work there it'll be an extra dollar fifty an hour for being bilingual and work at night so but uh yeah i'll be on night shifts so that means i don't have to go out and buy new dress clothes because when you come into work during the day you got to wear kahiki pants or dress pants or you know nice pants and you know collared tops you know you can't come in wearing dressing beach wear and, like shorts and shit and no jeans Gotta wear nice shoes. My running shoes wouldn't count, so couldn't rock these. I'd have to go out and buy nice shoes, which sucks. Gotta dress for success, you know, basically. That's how they want it. So, free it. I don't have to do that now. I'll be on the night shift. Thank God. And, um, yeah, we're gonna try something different with the vlogs. Like, I'm able to upload custom thumbnails, right? And I never know what to do. Well, BitBoy, once again, develops a thumbnail template for me that looks pretty decent. So, I'm gonna, uh, Roll that out, frig it. And we're gonna rock with that and see how that works. Um, it looks pretty decent, but they always say like your thumbnail cannot be misleading. Well, these thumbnails are not misleading at all. They don't really cover anything that's <laughs> inside of the uh, the video. It's basically my vlog and life logo, the day, and just just standard vlog and life stuff. So, should be pretty good. I will try it out, see what you guys think and go with it. Try and make it look a little bit more professional, I guess. I don't know. 
I don't want to go full Hollywood, but I like to make the videos look good, you know. It's always good to look good. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a great big forklift guy over here just giving her. They're doing a lot of work over on Main Street. Looks like they're putting in some new uh, water mains and all that stuff, so that's right on. Yeah, when I went and brought the dog out today, holy shit. It was like Dragonfly Central right on my doorstep. There was like six of them there just, just, just hanging out. Just flying around stuff and doing their thing. It was weird. I've never seen that before. Good thing those things don't bite because I know they got teeth. And I know if they were to bite, they they, 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 they they will tear flesh. Holy stutter, Adam. What's wrong with you? But uh, yeah, the shit flies should be open hardcore tonight because uh, it's human as hell. And they like that kind. So it means we're going to have a lot of shit hawks here tomorrow morning cleaning up the aftermath. And uh, it's going to be pretty gross. It already smells like rotten fish down here. And um, oh man, I'd hate to be that corner store. The one that I always go to. They get bombarded with shad flies non-stop. It's disgusting. But what can you do, right? It's the way she goes. Any hoozle. I'm going to head her back inside and carry on with my night. Thought I'd break the good news to you guys. Staying on that shift. Staying on that shift. Yeah. Any hoozle. Talk to you guys at my lunch. Peace out. Oh, that's classic. You see that Ford Flex behind me? It belongs to a guy who uh, works with me upstairs. And... Um, Normally he rides his bike to work, but because last night the weather network said it wasn't supposed to rain And it friggin done gone pissed He decided friggin. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna drive a car today instead of riding my bike And now look at the weather Like look at this Friggin blue skies everywhere. The winds a little heavy, but whatever hardly any clouds in the sky Unfriggin believable this audio is probably getting rifle cocked by the wind, but uh, I don't know if I can stand against the building here and get rid of it. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, is that better? That's a little better. Oh my god, you guys want to see something disgusting? Are you sure you're okay for this? Hopefully you're not eating. See that? Here, let's get a zoom in on that. That's all dead shad fly carcasses. All dead shad flies. Yummy, eh? They are the most disgusting bugs ever and they ruin everything. You know, they can't bite, they have no teeth, but they can really make a mess of things. That's one thing they're good at. And what's disgusting is like last year, that'll probably fester down there forever until somebody comes along and cleans them up. So all you're gonna smell in this well, this is the stairwell, is friggin' fish for a long frickin' time. And they're already starting to congregate on the wall. You wanna see something else disgusting about these things? Look at all of them built up up there. Here, we'll get a little bit of a zoom. Look at that. All in the friggin' windowsill. Now imagine you own a business down on Main Street and uh, your window for your business is caked in these things. And it happens nightly. It's pretty disgusting. It's pretty disgusting indeed. That's why a lot of businesses moved out of downtown and moved into either the mall or uptown somewhere because they just couldn't deal with the friggin' shads anymore. And the other businesses just burnt to the ground because, well, that's what's happening downtown. Speaking of which, it's summertime, so I think we're about due for another downtown business fire because every summer we have one business go down. Last summer was Lafayette Sports and Hobby, or was it Richardson Sports and Hobby? It was a sports and hobby store that burnt down, so uh, I guess uh, we're due for another one. So should we, uh, I don't know, set up a betting pool and get all the business names and people can, you know, put 20 bucks on so-and-so and 50 bucks on so-and-so and see which one's next. This wind's pretty hectic, so I'm going to shut her down right now, guys. Head her back inside, and I'll talk to you guys on my 10.30 break. So, peace out. Well, I decided to relocate my car closer to the building. And, um, it's frig sakes. Oh, you're dumb. You fell off. But, uh, it's already starting to pick up shad flies. Nothing you can do. Uh, frig sakes. I'm going to have to bring up the G6, I think. Oh, well. Like I said yesterday, I really don't want to pay $200 to have to get it detailed again because of these disgusting little bastards. Like, they're already putting a bunch of shit all over my hood. Freaking disgusting. Oh well, that's the way she goes. Clock break. And as you can tell, there's no shot flies on the door because these lights are disabled, therefore they can't see it. But that light. You can tell there's shads there. The objective is, 
is to stay into the darkness. And that way they don't see you, they don't try and land on you. Even though they don't do anything, they're still pretty disgusting. But uh, check this out. You can somewhat see them all over there. Pretty awesome. Yeah, if you're lit up, you're done. You get picked up by shots like crazy. You know, we got this light over here, which has a bunch. That light over there has a bunch. I'll bring a better camera tomorrow, show you a better shot of it. But uh, they'd be out and they'd be out hard. But guys, my last, last break of the evening. I think I'm gonna shut the video down here, call it quits for tonight. Pick it back up tomorrow, you know. Should be a nice night and should be uh, a good day tomorrow to uh, to mow the lawn. So I'll get the tractor out tomorrow. Today I was kind of, you know, I slept in a bit and other things and you know how it is. So hopefully you can see me right now and stuff, but I don't know. But any hoozle, on that note, I'm going to shut her down and uh, go from there. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns about today's video, you know where to leave them. Comment section below. And until tomorrow, guys, you know what I always say. Keep on vlogging. I just realized something pretty cool. The car kit from Knight Rider has been in uh, pretty much every single car in this little parking lot. It's been a Thunder, it's been a Firebird, he's been a Ford Flex in the 2008 version, and he's been a Ford Edge in the 2008 version. Right on.